I want to go back to an earlier question uh, about the role of science teachers in this and they're addressing the issues of intelligent design. I heard a different question than I th think you answered, so I don't know, but I'm going to res um, I think that teachers do need to know the types of things that you've presented to us today so that when this comes up, they are prepared to show why intelligent design is not science. That's what the question that I heard the young man ask. Maybe I heard it incorrectly. He was asking me if I thought if intelligent design should, if biology professors, and I thought he was talking about the college level. It sounded to me, I wasn't sure, but uh, should biology professors teach about this? you know, in their classes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then my issue is off to the side. Yes, they should teach about it in that, or at least be prepared to discuss why it is not just bad science, but not science. Oh, I in agree. To words, the extent that it comes yes. up, they need to be prepared to say that. E yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, you also made a comment, and I, I think that's a very, very important issue about the, whether it's the academic disciplines themselves or the professional organizations of the science teachers, not doing enough to defend their own sciences and um, you know wh where are the biology teachers where's the national you know association of biology teachers in doing this I'm not saying that they haven't made statements and things but it seems like this fight is being made by people other than the science educators yes themselves. It's, it's largely by non-scientists okay. like me yeah you know. and what can be done or do you have any ideas about how we can better educate the teachers themselves the professors themselves and get this information into their hands yeah, yes, my co-author, who is a scientist, a retired scientist, and I do have some ideas. And, and, and if you'd like to see some of the recommendations we make, I just posted an article on my website, www.creationismstrojanhorse.com. It's an article that he and I wrote for Noretta Kirtke's book. Um, her book is Scientific Values and Civic Virtues. And our article is The Wedge of Intelligent Design, Retrograde Science, Schooling, and Society. And you can download the PDF. Um, there has to be a very thoroughgoing, a, a real overhaul of the way science teachers are trained. Um, and they, they need to be trained more in terms of content, scientific content, and less in teaching methodology. Uh, because that's very easy to learn. Methodology is very easy to learn. It's the content where teachers end up very poorly prepared. So the science teachers need to be better armed with the knowledge they need to ward off the challenges that they're now getting from their students who are being coached to challenge them. Schools of education need to revamp the way they're training teachers. Scientists need to, to realize that they got a great big old dog in this fight. And they had better start helping because the science literacy in this country is, is, is not getting better and in many ways it's getting worse. But the trick is to get them to do it. Um, I think now that their own ox is getting gored, I mean with people like James Hansen at NASA being muzzled and they're directly suffering the effects of the attacks on science, they're more aware of the problem of intelligent design. Um, now, it, 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 you know, to, to give them some benefit of the doubt, everybody's busy. You don't get tenure, you don't get grants by, by chasing after creationists. But at some point, everybody has to do a little something. Uh, there are people who are willing to shoulder the, the, the biggest part of, of the burden, but, but we do need to help. And it would be nice if, if they would at least do things locally. And one of the things that everybody can do is to get involved in the public schools and go spend some time working with the science teachers and working with children in science. But this is a political fight. We can't, it's like Eugenie says, we can't cure it by throwing science at it. It is a political fight, and, and the best way to do it is to, to, to help solve the problem. This is my parting comment. It's, is for enough people to stop electing public officials who go along with this crap. Mm -hmm.